let's start with your reading scorpio today we are going to look into your recent past current energies and near future and then we will immediately clarify in order to find out more details about your messages now let's begin right away with your reading Okay. All right. The main energy for the reading today is the three of wands. Changes, Scorpio. A lot of changes around you, inside of you, in regards of a situation, a person, and the way you feel towards them. With the three of wands, we might be looking into someone from a different country or just someone who made you feel as though with them you were truly moving to the next phase of your life you have discovered a lot of yourself in the situation uh, whether it was good or bad and it did give you a lot until it didn't until it started taking more than it gave there is distance now in between you and this connection but let's see why it's coming up in this reading today in the recent past, we have the King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. I mean, look at these two people trying to do their best to pretend that they're not thinking about each other. This is definitely a situation that you've had a hard time letting go of, more than you ever did in the past. The two of you really had a strong bond, understanding each other in a way that was very special, on the same page when it came to a lot of things. And overall, you really completed each other in so many ways. There is also something else here that was not allowing you to let go of this person, something you potentially don't know about still yet today. We'll dig deeper into this as soon as we come back to clarify. In the present, current energies, Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You know, there is actually a lot of confusion currently in this situation, but it's hidden. It's masked, masked by fake confidence and determination to move on from this, to invest somewhere else. This might be you or the other person. What we see is someone who is trying to ignore the fact that they have no idea why things have fallen apart. And deep down, they're still trying to figure things out. The truth is that you went from the both of you being there for each other, putting effort into this, to instead being very cold, distant, absent. Something is changing into the situation, and we'll look into it as soon as we clarify this present energy. Definitely, there's much more to this than it appears. In the near future, we have the King of Cups and the World Reversed. I see you here pushing the world away, Scorpio isolating yourself physically, emotionally, while attempting to get over that situation. It's as if you're trying to tell the universe, you hurt me through that connection, that person. Well, now I'll show you. I'll never open up again. I'll never let anyone in again. I'll show you what I'm capable of. But obviously, what you might be failing to see is that you're doing this to yourself. You're doing yourself a disservice. And you shouldn't let that person, that situation, impact your future, as well as it has impacted your past. We'll see what else is coming your way that you should potentially open up to over here, okay? So let's start clarifying, and let's begin with your recent past. <clears throat> Queen of Swords, see? That power couple, that completing each other, King and Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. This Five of Swords keeps coming up in this part of the reading. I don't know why. <laughs> the Hermit. You know, it feels like you were coming from a similar situation before this. A situation in which you've had to give up something or someone you cared about 
someone you invested into and build expectations around. And this new person over here, Ace of Cups, this new chapter in a way, was almost your own personal revenge, you know? Someone who helped you move on from what you went through in the past, validating to you that real people, real connections actually do exist. Also, there is something here that happened really fast. It might have been the beginning of that connection or even the ending of the connection. Something that barely gave you the chance to process what was happening. When changes, when changes, when changes happen so fast, they don't allow your heart to adapt to the new situation, you know? And you could mistake that as you still wanting the situation, still caring about it. Whereas instead, you just need time to process, Scorpio. Sometimes it takes a day, sometimes months, sometimes even years, unfortunately. But give yourself some time and do not mistake the way you feel here for something that you're going to feel for the rest of your life, okay? All right, let's see what's going on in the present. Let's clarify the current energies. The moon, the fool, and the page of wands with the seven of wands. You know, there clearly is sadness, a feeling of being lost because of the fact that this didn't work out, you know? There was a time where the both of you really didn't see this coming. You've seen this lasting forever, or at least for many, many years. And the fact that things didn't work out is still impacting you today more than you'd want. But now something is starting to change. Now you're starting to understand that regardless of the love and the strong bond that was there, if this person is not fighting for you, then it's not fair for you uh, to fight for them. You know your worth and you know you deserve someone who is going to make it clear that they care. Sometimes you do, you do worry that you're not good enough and that nothing lasts forever in your life. But listen, we all have those thoughts sooner or later. It's, about, it's absolutely normal. Just don't let them consume you. What matters is what you do with them. What matters is how long we let them linger in our mind, in our heart. This is just temporary. Whatever you're going through is temporary, Scorpio. And I see you here trying to start building walls, building uh, all this protective system around you in order to, for this to never happen again. But I hate to say it, this is not the solution. This is not what is going to bring the transformation that you are still looking for. We've seen some of that message in the future. So let's start clarifying the near future energy. Let's see if we can find out more information about it. Hmm, okay. The Chariot, the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, what? And the Knight of Swords. Well, this was really unexpected. There is definitely something coming in fast with the Chariot. Something starting for you, Scorpio, given also the Fool underneath here. Perhaps even something restarting. But this time, I feel that you're going to take your time. Again, it might be someone new or... For some of you, it might be this person just coming back to talk, sending a message out of the blue to see where things can go from this moment forward. But I can tell that this time around, you will not rush into anything anymore. I see this fast stream coming towards you, but you're not really taking part in it. With the higher friend, you're being more... You're taking your time. You really are trying to understand the situation much better and to learn what you need to learn. When this comes in, you'll be prepared to handle the situation as you should have handled it maybe back then. 
as we said with the main energy you have changes coming towards you we see it right here as well positive developments but it won't be enough to actually change things around for you you'll need to be open to receive and this time it might be very difficult for you i will admit that considering where you're coming from considering that you are closing off to the world the cards are inviting you to still take that leap of faith to trust what's coming and to not feel that whatever is starting for you next is just going to be a repeat of what you have just experienced because if you, if you feel that way guess what it is going to be a repeat and so it's very important for you here to give yourself a real chance scorpio and i know that every single time you put yourself out there once again on every single time this comes back into your life it's always more difficult and it gets more difficult every time but it doesn't mean that you should stop trying okay now the main message for you today is don't lose yourself in what should have been instead focus focus on what it can be from this moment forward it's hard to not wonder and think about the past, you know, looking for answers into what happened. But your task right now is to focus on what's ahead of you because the answers that you're looking for are actually in there. So let's look into what's coming next for you, Scorpio. Let's see what you should look forward to in the next few months. And let's take a peek into that chariot energy, potentially conversation, action taken towards you to see if it is going to impact the current dynamic between the two of you or if it's just going to serve as closure, you know, so that you can at least move on without regret, without sadness anymore. If you want to dive deeper into the messages with me, Scorpio, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free, personal, live, 45 minute reading. I send out emails to confirm every Monday morning. Please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Scorpio. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events is the Three of Pentacles. This is the card that talks about building something from scratch, as if nothing was ever there before. Potentially rebuilding something from scratch, merging, merging different point of views, but this time with the same goal in mind, with the same vision in mind. The truth is that this bond is still, still too strong to just forget about it and let it go. Doesn't mean that it's actually going to work out this time. We'll have to see. But it definitely means that there is still something in between the two of you that has to happen, which is the very reason why the two of you have found each other in the first place. So it's definitely a complicated message to look into, but we need to try to find out as many details as possible. We see here that new beginning, all these aces, the world card, we definitely see something that it's starting for you. Let's look into the details. So let's start clarifying this incoming energy, starting with that three of pentacles. What has changed in the situation? What is different now from then? Hmm. Okay. All right. I mean, <laughs> two of swords and the sun. This is definitely something that you did not think about. And mainly because it was hidden from you. I'm not sure yet if this energy is talking about you or this other person. But when we look into it, I'm sure that you'll be able to tell. Right here, we see someone who every single time...